The People That Satan Fears The truth is that the devil is powerful. I am not saying that to glorify the devil in any way, form, or fashion. But that is the truth. The devil is a being with a tremendous amount of power. He has a whole demonic army of evil spirits that work under his authority. There are powers. There are rulers of the darkness of this world. They all operate under him. All the spiritual wickedness in high places fall under him. He is a powerful being. The devil is not someone you should take lightly or someone you should play games with. He will cover you in red tape and destroy every single aspect of your life before your eyes. The devil can quite literally open the gates of hell on a person's life. The Bible tells us clearly. John 10.10 10, The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. He only comes to kill. He only comes to destroy. He only comes to steal. He will attack you in your personal life. And then he will attack you in your wealth. And then attack you in your health. He will go after every single thing you hold near and dear to you. Look at what he did to Job in one day. He took out all of Job's children in one day. He took out all of his wealth on that same day. He took away his health on the same day. The devil can destroy a life to the point that you won't even know right from left. The truth is, the devil is not afraid of human beings. And that is the truth. The devil is not afraid of you, or your name, or your wealth, or your status. Satan. Satan fears one person, and that is God Almighty. Satan fears those who cannot pray and cry out to God. Every demon of hell, every evil and unclean spirit fears God Almighty. James 2.19 Even the demons believe and tremble. God Almighty is the eternal being that every demon of hell knows, that every demon of hell fears. God Almighty, the Ancient of Days, the Creator of Heaven and Earth, the CEO of the Universe, the One in whom all things consist of, God Almighty, the One in whom is from everlasting to everlasting, God Almighty, the One in whom lightning and thunder obeys, God Almighty, the One in whom all the innumerable angels of Heaven obey, God Almighty, the one in whom who spoke of all things together, God Almighty, the Alpha and Omega, God Almighty, the beginning and the end, God Almighty, the All-Sufficient One, God Almighty, the Judge of all the earth, God Almighty, the One who is perfect in knowledge, God Almighty, the buckler to all those that trust in Him, God Almighty, the first and the last, God Almighty, the God who is near and not far off, God Almighty, the Lord of hosts, God Almighty. The devil fears the people that can call upon the name of the Lord. Who are these people that the devil is afraid of? They are those who don't compromise on the word of God. The devil fears those who are dogmatic about the word of God. The devil fears those who do not adjust the Word of God, so that the Word of God fits into societal norms. That is true faith. True faith obeys the Word of God, even if the whole world disapproves. True faith aims to please God and not men. True faith stands up for righteousness and holiness. That is true faith. We live in an age where the world attempts to get you to compromise on the Word of God. And there are churches that compromise on the Bible and its teachings in order for the church to become more seeker-friendly rather than God-friendly. But this age-old truth remains true for individuals and churches. You will either offend God and please the world, or you will please God and offend the world. Make your choice today. These people don't back on the Word of God. When God says it is A, they take it like that and not twist it to be Z. When God says it is red, they don't say it is pink. 
They don't go below God's standard. They don't reduce the quality of the Word of God. They make the Word of God the standard. They use the Word of God as their daily guide. The Word of God to these people is like a manual guide. They use it to get direction. They don't follow the world or allow society to affect their moral compass. Their attitude of right and wrong is molded by the unchanging Word of God. They accept the Word of God just the way it is. They take the Word of God to be an instruction on how to live the perfect life that God wants them to live. They don't go outside the Word of God just to satisfy themselves. 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, King James Version All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. People who understand that the Word of God should not be twisted and must be followed to the letter are those who have the power of God in them. When the devil sees that he cannot deceive you, he cannot make you fall into lies, he will be afraid of you. When the devil sees that your life is completely reliant on the Lord God Almighty, he will be afraid of you. Satan wants you to be self-reliant. The reason being is self-reliant people never call on God or only call on God as a last resort. But there are those who seek the face of the Lord when things are going good and when things are going bad. There are those who call on the Lord regardless of whatever situation they find themselves in. The devil fears those people who are persuaded that they are loved by God. Romans 8, 38 and 39 For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. According to Jesus, there is only one thing that you must do to have this victory over the devil, and that is, you must live and believe in him. When we are talking about living in Christ, it means you must accept everything that he gives you. You must take all his instructions. You must follow his steps. You must wash and follow him. Jesus said this same thing in John 15, 4, that, Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. The fruit that you will bring forth when you are in Christ is the fruit of life. You cannot live if you are not living in Him. When you abide in Christ, there is no way you will not believe Him. You will start to do the things He asks you to do. You will start to follow His steps. When you believe in Christ, it means you believe He died and defeated death, and He has the victory over death. If you accept this and believe it, you will be given that victory too, and you will not face death. Are you living in Christ? Do you believe in Him and do the things He has commanded you to do? You cannot say you love Christ and refuse to do the things He has asked you to do. If you do not love Him, you will not do the things He asks you, and you will not have the access to the victory. You have to believe in Christ. You have to obey Christ. That is the only way you can be safe from death. That is the only way you can avoid the impending destruction that will come through sin. John 11:26. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Psalm 1, 1 through 3, King James Version. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. 